Hi there, Sharon here. How are y'all doing? Good to see you again. Today, I'd like to talk about trauma and unresolved emotions that might be true somewhere deep inside of you that can be released to help you reduce your autoimmune symptoms. Okay, so let's just dive deep in right now. So some of the things I'm talking about, some of the trauma or trapped emotions you might have experienced, you might have been in a serious accident. So it's very obvious. So there was definitely a time, a day, and a place, and you were in this serious accident. So we can look closer at that. We can look around and see if that might be still stored in your body. That can be released. Maybe you live through a natural disaster. This is the reality of our world now. Forest fires, flooding, tornadoes. So many more natural disasters. And these are displacing people. People are losing their houses, all their mementos, all their pictures. Everything that's special to them, people lose their loved ones. So many traumatic things that happen around a natural disaster, being separated from your family, going to shelters. It's horrible. Did you live some through a natural disaster when you were a kid or some other time in your life? Let's think about that time period and how that might have affected you. Another big trauma. Unfortunately, that I see a lot is the trauma of physical or sexual assault. Now, this is a big one. And the numbers are so high, the amount of people that are affected by this. When do these types of things happen in your life? It, and if they happened in childhood, you might have suppressed them for so long. You might not even consciously remember these events but they are still deep in your subconscious we got to look at that we got to straighten that out we got to release some of that pain around those traumas there's a lot of abuse out there i'm, I'm sorry that y'all are going through this but there's somebody here to help you i can help you look at these things and we look at it like a detective. We look at it to find the clues, the connections, to come to some kind of understanding. That's part of the process that you need to be going through. Maybe you lived through a war or went to combat. Those are huge traumas. When you're a kid, you might be a survivor of abuse or neglect in some way. Not all abuse is physical in your face abuse there's a lot of silently suffering types of abuse especially that children go through children are in these houses with their parents and they're not old enough to escape their situation sometimes and so the mind does a lot of tricky things to help you do with that it really does and it, it protects you at that time in childhood but now that you're an adult we got to go back and, and re-figure some things out and look at things from different angles and find those clues. So abuse comes in many forms, in many ways. Even not getting any affection or attention is a form of abuse. Not screaming at you or beating you, but they could care less about you. That is just as traumatic. Maybe you witnessed a traumatic event. Even as a kid, you could have been a bystander of a, a crime, a murder. Who knows? Maybe you kept that deep down inside. You might think that that didn't affect you so much. You might think, oh, I'm fine. I'm not the one that died. I'm not the one that got hurt. But you were there. And that affected you. That changed your whole world. Probably didn't understand what was going on if that happened when you were a kid. These are some of the trapped emotions that have been just festering inside of you all these years. And we did a good job. You suppressed them. You kept them at bay. 
But there comes a time when they're going to come out. If you don't deal with them, it's going to come out in some way. Somewhere on your body. And it's going to keep coming out and saying, deal with it. So let's deal with these problems. There's no time to waste. I do believe that everybody has some trapped emotions or some trauma very deep that needs to be looked at, especially if you're having health problems that are unexplainable and you've been to all the different doctors, all the different specialists, you've taken all the tests, but there's still something not right. That's where we're going to have to dive deep into the brain, y'all. We got to do it. We got to get up in there. We got to see what's really going on. You are a powerful being. You really are. And up here, right here, that's creating everything. And our mind does this. It protects us. It wants to help us. And sometimes there's just a disconnect between the conscious mind and the subconscious mind. Just that you need to bridge that gap and figure the stuff out. So when these traumatic events happen, it can set off an autoimmune disease because your very biology changes. It's crazy to think, but something traumatic is like a marker in time. And your functioning, your body functioning, your brain will never be the same. Something happened, and now everything's different. A traumatic event or trapped emotions affects your very biology. I'm not a doctor, I'm not a scientist. But I do help people solve their internal mental problems and I help them release their autoimmune symptoms. So what can you do? We have this trauma, we have these trapped emotions, we have biology changes. We just set the scene for our autoimmune system to go berserk. And it's hard, and it's frustrating, and it's hard to figure out the answers, and I know that. So as you're, you're managing your symptoms, you, you got to self-regulate your emotions. You got to self-regulate your nervous system. You do this by meditation, nature walks, doing some mindful breathing. It's really important to stay connected with people. Don't give up with the one connection you make can change your life. That happens all the time. So keep connecting with people. You got to keep moving. When your body moves, your brain grooves. So keep moving. But if you really want to reduce your symptoms or free yourself from your symptoms, you're going to have to go deeper than that. You're going to have to dig a lot deeper, deep down into your subconscious mind to release some of these emotions and traumas. And when you release these traumas in your mind, they will start to release in your body. Well, I'm telling you the truth here. I've seen it happen. It's pretty amazing. So that's what I do. That's what we could do. That's what I'm all about. I'm all about helping people. I want to help as many people as I can. I'm learning a lot about the mind-body connection and how powerful our brains are. I'd love to help you. I'm available worldwide. Go ahead and get on my calendar if you feel called to. Much love to y'all. See you out there real soon. All right, bye-bye.